Well, I think first of all what is quite important is other than the pure technique to think about overcoming the fear we all have from new things. Because new things, younger and even older people, or especially older people, they think, how do we do it? How do other people do it? We see people which have failed. We need to overcome that initial fear. We need to see how are other people successfully implementing it. So we need to check out other things. How do people do it? And from them, we need to learn. And last but not least, we need to do some kind of training. If you are talking about communication by a Zoom, a Skype or anything else, essentially it's easy. You push a button, you're on there. But don't forget about the small details. What is your background? What is your shade? What is your face? Are you actually seeing your face? A lot of people are sitting in front of a window. So either you don't see the face or it's totally white. So those are elements which are maybe secondary, but at the end they contribute to a very good success of a meeting. Think about time difference, about cultural difference. It's not, sometimes with the time difference, we are at the home, at the privacy of somebody. So rather than being in the office where you have a certain mindsetting, a certain idea on how things work, all of a sudden you're at home. You're at home, you're speaking with somebody who might be just waking up, somebody who is about to go to sleep, somebody who has children, dogs, cats, and everything around it. So it's a different setting. You have to be understanding about those problems or those situations. And then also always we need to find out about the difference of cultures. Certain people, you're talking to an American person, it's one side. You're talking to a Japanese person, it's the total opposite. You're talking even to a South Italian or to a German, it's different approaches. So we need to put in our mind together who do we speak to, what is our way of communication. It's not about the language because everybody can translate any language, but it's about the approach. It's the emotion which has to be transferred and not only the pure facts. You have to think about, first of all, who is potentially interesting for you. To see how do you want to connect with whom do you want to connect, who is useful, who is interesting. You need to think about when you contact the people that you touch their heart at the end. Because there are so many automated systems, artificial intelligence, and it's such a mess. It's like if you go on any helpline on a computer company or whatever, and you actually realize that you just talk with a computer. It's horrible. So you want to establish a real question. So if you want to congratulate somebody for the birthday, you want not just simply say happy birthday, you want to do something personalized. You check what the person cares about, what kind of relationship she has. She is in a foundation, she is in a uh, working environment. So make a relation to that, make it personal and show that you are truly interested in the person. In that way, you get it back. It has to be a two-way street. And two-way street is only when you open the heart and you go to the heart.